Yes, welcome back, my beautiful people. You know, it's your favorite superstar, baby boy, the Amiri OV. Yes, the king of vibes. And welcome back to Let's Talk. The very first thing I want to talk about today is um, might be controversial a bit, but um, I'm just ready to chest everything because we really need to talk about this thing. So, after a long relegation, um, Bobiski is finally back. And um, he is back bigger and stronger. I don't know if I should say that basically, but he's back bigger and stronger. And the controversy this time is really, really crazy. Now, let me take you back to the beginning so there was actually a movie premiere that happened i think a couple of days ago um beast of two worlds you get it was a movie premiere it was big and then they did this um best dressed male and best dressed female thing where you know they had to pick winners and then give them one million and then eventually Bobrisky was picked as the best dressed female see life <laughs> So Bobisky was picked as the best dressed female and then that kind of like sparked a lot of conversation on the social media space because a lot of people were like they were beautifully dressed and elegant looking women like actual women in that place and then you now give Bobisky but I'm not saying that they were wrong now the thing is Bobisky has at this time we don't even know where he or she stands I'm telling you for a fact because today now is a he tomorrow is a she tomorrow is a shim we, I think we need to create another gender that is different from male and female because there's male, there's female and there's, uh, I don't know, there's there's some kind, you know when color mix, uh-huh, when you don't know the exact color. So basically we don't know where to categorize, we don't know if to call um, Bobuski she or him. So um, as at that point, you know, a lot of people were like, why, why would you have to do that? You know, he, he sparked a lot of conversation on the social media space and then portable. And now talked about it you know portable now whenever he's, something happens he just takes his phone and then drops a video and everything so portable talks about it and he was like really mad about the fact that why would they give a e which is bob Risky, um a category um an award or like winning a category that was meant for a she and he got a lot of people talking and stuff so portable put out his own thoughts about this whole thing and then bob Risky sparked like he got he got crazy <laughs> I don't know, see, I don't know why I'm using she because deep down in my mind, I cannot still accept that it's a she because now senior man like me, funny enough, let me tell you something, I've seen Bob Risky in the airport, ha, oh God, daddy, when I saw Bob Risky, I was like, waiting be this killing back. I was confused because I'm like, is this Bob Risky? Like, well, for all those things on Photoshop, I'm telling you, photo, Baba Photoshop, but that's not what I'm saying right now. But basically, um, she started insulting or he started insulting um pardon me with the shit i'm saying it's just reflex please it's a e so he started insulting portable he started insulting his family and then he now talked about the fact that you know when he carries anybody when he erects anybody you you just be lost for life they will not find you again and then it just kind of like reminds me of what happened with vdm because i know vdm has had vdm by the way is very dark man and vdm has had issues with different people you know he had issues with tonto dk they took him to the police station as, as at the time it was it was sorted he went back home but why is it that is now that he has issues with bob Risky that um they can't find him it's not like they can't find him but as at the time the other time there were pictures and he was coming out to post pictures he was doing everything and saying oh i'm here oh, my lawyer is here oh. you know he was giving life up the ball right now for like three days nobody has heard from vdm nobody has said anything he's just been missing where is vdm first of all how is this related to bob Risky? what did bob Risky do you understand so i feel like there's a lot of questions to be asked and um to some extent i kind of like relate to what very dark man is saying because truthfully you know um there were like a lot of questions he asked and right now um i don't want to say they're okay um i don't want to say they're bullying him but to some extent he crossed the line yeah he did and i feel like that's one thing about vdm he does not know where to stop most times but to some extent he crossed the line but still on still why is it that it is now that he had issues with, issues with Bob Risky, that all of these things is now going crazy. Please help me, let us answer this question together. I'm not shading anybody, I'm just saying the fact and the truth. Truthfully, they could have given the award to somebody else, or the category, or best dressed thing to a female female, you get. But at the end of the day, they gave it to Bob Risky. They have their reasons. I'm not saying they don't know what they're doing. But I feel like moving on, we just need to do things orderly and we need to be much more coordinated with our doings because if that had not happened all this noise on social media all this dragging and everything that's happening would not you know be happening and i'm sure if bobby can see this it's going to come for me but um, we see with my own <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, what's it live? you on Let's Talk, my beautiful people in Sudan, the KOV. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Let's vibe to this one back to back. <laughs> 